Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the official release of Panda Mini. So I just finished a live stream of this printer today, but I wanted to make a YouTube video, a condensed YouTube video on this printer, show it off, talk about it, um, get the community's interaction, you know, ask questions, that type of thing. Um, this printer is officially on printables right now. This is a beta printer. So if you're wanting to build this printer right now, you're essentially going to be a beta tester. Um, I definitely will appreciate feedback. I am, I, I made a rough bill of materials for this printer and you know, I've included the step file and that type of thing. So any feedback would be great. I'm gonna go ahead and just start a print up here while we're talking. So, I've been working on this printer for about two months, uh, on and off, and there are a lot of ideas on this that I wanted to try out. I was inspired by a couple printers, but mainly I wanted to really just try out some ideas I had for Panda, and it made sense to make a smaller printer to test some theories. I am very happy with the printer so far. This is a very high performance compact 3D printer. This is essentially the same size as a V0. I think it's like two millimeters wider. Um, very, very compact. The build area is 140 by 140 and the Z is about 120. Um, it is a very unique printer. I want to answer some two questions I think I'm going to get right off the bat is how is this different from a V0? And the first thing as we talked about, it does have a bigger build area, 140 by 140. This printer has linear rails or linear rods, I should say, for the Y axis. And it has V wheels for the Z. I really wanted to make a printer that had as few linear rails as possible. There is only one linear rail on this whole printer and that's for X. I also wanted to make a printer that was very high performance, meaning high performance in cooling and also high performance in motion. So I have designed this printer to use dual 120 millimeter fans on each side. The layer cooling on this printer is phenomenal. I will show off some kind of benchies and stuff that I've been basically trying to push this printer to the limit and see how fast it can go. And I'm still working on that. This is a relatively tame benchy print just for this video. The other question that I uh, foresee, you know, people asking is, you know, and I've kind of already answered that, is this just another Core XY, small Core XY 3D printer? And I think it's quite unique. The fact that it does use V-Wheels for the Z makes it pretty unique. Um, there are a couple 3D printers, Core XY 3D printers that do use V-Wheels, but I don't see many of them being able to be enclosed. Usually the V-Wheels are on the outside and inside to kind of clamp the 2020 as it rides up and down. This printer, all the wheels are on the inside and the bed frame is actually tensioned via two springs on the front. So the V-wheels are always pushing out on the extrusions, keeping it nice and stable. I'm very, very happy with the Z. It's really, really stable and it lends itself very well to fast 3D printing. The cost for this printer is around 450 USD, so it's in line with uh, other printers of this size. And like I say, it is meant to be a fast 3D printer. This is on the high end of my small 3D printers. It's the very top tier. I have been running this at 30,000 acceleration. Doing testing, I've run it at 20,000 acceleration, 300 millimeters a second, and it's performing very, very well. I'm very curious to see what other people will do with this 3D printer. 
Another really nice thing about this printer is it uses the Bamboo X1 hot end. Um, I've recently found that these hot ends are very, very inexpensive and have very high performance. For the money, I don't really think you can beat the hot end. I'm using a genuine bamboo hot end. The reason why is they have a Canadian warehouse. Shipping is only $8 and it's two days to my house. I don't have to wait for AliExpress and I can just order a bunch of them and I have them on hand. A lot of my printers in the future are going to use these hot ends just because it's the best bang for buck, um, hands down, that I can find. The AliExpress ones are awesome as well. They do have the added benefit where they can use normal nozzles. The bamboo uh, official ones have a proprietary nozzle, so there are pros and cons. I just like, I know the quality of these hot ends, and like I say, I can order them right from the Canadian warehouse. Bamboo does have a lot of warehouses in different countries, so they're very easy to get. Um, as I talked about before, this printer is capable of printing very quickly, meaning, um, on a quality setting, this will do a 15-16 minute benchy without even trying. I have gotten a 9 minute benchy out of this printer very easily. I will show off some prints, some up close prints. Um, this is an 18 minute benchy I was messing around with and I have a 9 minute benchy that I'll put on screen so you can take a look. Very happy with the quality. I don't have this side panel on so I can show the side of the printer and I can show you all of the unique features of the printer. Normally you would have an ABS panel on the side with the additional 120 millimeter cooling. So all of the prints that I've shown you have just been the one right hand side fan and already the cooling is excellent. The printer is very quiet and I'm very happy with it. I will show you the top here. It's using a um, acrylic picture frame window for the top and also the front panel will have the same as well. This printer is using dual Z. However, they are not independent. It's just using a normal SKR mini mainboard in the back. And I'm driving both Z steppers off of one stepper driver. It keeps things really simple. You don't need any fancy main boards or anything like that. And the Z works perfectly fine like that. This is a little bit more involved build than say a normal Rook would be. In this current iteration of the printer, you do have to tap these vertical extrusions. There are M5 by 16 that go into the extrusions. This is a very easy mod to eliminate that. You could instead just use the actual profile and actually just use T-nuts instead. You don't have to tap these if you don't want to. Just tapping these four extrusions though is relatively straightforward. I just ordered a M5 tap on Amazon. I put it in my drill and I tapped the four top parts here and the four bottom. This printer does use a hybrid frame it's not a fully boxed 2020 frame. The bottom is 3D printed and the top is 3D printed. There is no 2020 extrusion in the rear and there are no 2020 extrusions on the back sides or the actual back bottom. There's just a single 2020 in the back. The frame is very, very rigid and very strong. There's no flexing or anything like that and the, the printer is very, very smooth when it is printing. So it's very, very nice. I, I'm very pleased with the aesthetics of the printer. I think this looks really, really good. It looks very stout. I like the corner plates. They really came together. Um, I ended up redesigning this printer a few times, changing the belt path, that type of thing. The tensioning system on this printer is the best that I've ever had on a printer. It is a compact version of the EVA tool head. So there are basically um, slides in the back of the tool head. M3 bolts go in and they pull the actual belt 
to tension. Works very well. The motor mounts are all rigid that way. There's nothing weird and the tensioning just works really, really well. This printer is all printed in ABS. This is a ABS capable printer, of course. If you wanted to print this out in PLA, I'm sure it would work fine. You will have to design some braces to mount these 120 millimeter fans. These panels are not gonna be easily printable in PLA. They are designed for ABS. ABS does shrink and I have made them to compensate for that ABS shrinkage. So if you try to print these side panels out in PLA, you're gonna have some issues. If you're making this printer just to print PLA, you're not gonna need side panels anyways. So you can just design a very simple bracket to hold the 120 millimeter fan on the sides and run the ducting that way. Um, this printer does use a Meanwhile 200 power supply in the very bottom. I designed this printer kind of around that form factor. I wanted to make sure I had as much weight down low as possible. I wanted the printer to be very, very stable because I knew it was going to print very fast. So I tried to keep the weight down low as much as possible. The main board sits on the back panel and basically there's some cutouts in the back panel to route wires and that type of thing. I am using a VZBot Hextrudort. This is the mellow version. I highly recommend this hot or this extruder. That is kind of the spec for this printer. However, I have no doubt there will be mods for Sailfin, Sherpa Mini, um, Orbiter 2s, all that kind of stuff. A lot of the cost of this printer does come from that extruder. They're not cheap. There's also a big cost in bearings. This printer does use a lot of F. 695 bearings because the printer is so compact and space, con space conscious I'm wrapping the belts around the rear 2020s and there's a lot of bearings needed to do that so I do have a channel on my discord it is called the Panda Mini of course and there's already a lot of uh, feedback and people we do have a couple people already building this printer so that's awesome I'm also not going to start designing another printer right now. I'm going to focus on making this printer as good as it can be until it's released. So this is beta right now. I'm going to do more videos on this printer. We're going to do speed benchies. I'm going to do a build tips video on this. Feel free to ask, comment, ask questions below and I'll try to incorporate those uh, questions in the comment or those comments into videos as much as I possibly can. The top, of course, is magnetic. You can pop it out. So if you want to load filaments or do any maintenance on the tool head, it's much easier. Here's a nine minute and 30 second Benchy. Using only one fan, just the right fan. I have not used the left fan yet, but pretty impressive for a nine minute Benchy in my opinion. Definitely can be pushed farther for sure. Yeah, that's kind of the official release for the Panda Mini 3D printer. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all on the Discord. Thanks, everyone, and like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it.